Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Player profile time here from Cocos Pizza. We are here with the Canfield Cardinal, and it is Nick Berendino, the senior wide receiver cornerback, number 22 in your programs, but number one in your heart. Nick, how are you, buddy? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm doing well. You don't have to serve me. Come on, man. I'm not that old. I might not have hair, but I'm not that old. Um, but I appreciate it. Of course. Um, talk to me about, I mean, this is senior year for you. How? I mean, I know it just started. But how quickly has it happened? I mean, from freshman year on, now you're a senior. Walk me through that. I mean, it was a blink of an eye. Like, uh, our, like, varsity program starts at sophomore year, mm -hmm. uh, and our freshmen, like, stay down. But honestly, like, I feel like sophomore year was yesterday. Like, it, it's, been, it's been ridiculous. And now, like, now that we're going into week two, the week has just flown by. Like, I feel like our game against West Branch was yesterday too so wow I, I hear you're pretty well educated so let's talk about learning how quickly did you learn um to th the work ethic side of things to be a cardinal uh I probably learned it pretty quickly I mean I had good uh people to learn it from like there's a lot of good role models to like make sure that everyone gets it who was it who were those role models uh, like you know Brock uh Santino Coca Danny Inglis like those guys Coach said that uh, your dad's a pretty good dude, too. <laughs> he yeah. knows he knows a thing or two about a thing or two. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll get to him later. Okay. For you, um, to be a Canfield Cardinal, to, to wear that Cardinal on the side of your head and wear that C, what does it mean to you? Uh, I'm, it means representing, like, everyone who will wear it in the future and who already has worn it and making sure, you know, you do the right things. You you play hard and you leave, no, no doubt. Who is your idol? Go, I mean, did, were you a little kid looking up at Canfield Cardinals and saying, I want to be just like this guy? I would say it was more my dad. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't really know a lot of, like, the older players. That's fair. What was it about your dad that made him your role model? Uh, I mean, he was pretty good at football, and, I mean, he's my dad. He's, uh, I love him a lot, and uh, I think he's a very good man, and he's wise and smart, and I want to, you know, be just like him, I guess. Well, I've heard you're, you're incredibly smart. One of the top in your class, is that correct? Uh, maybe you're up there um, to be a receiver to be a corner right mm. that's, that's 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 a very dynamic position because mm. um, you can go hungry or you can eat happy every single night just mm. depends on kind of the coverage and, and your quarterback yeah for you what kind of connection do you have with the other receivers with the quarterback with with uh, you know the skill positions that you've you know kind of transformed into this leader on the team uh, I think we've all, like, just developed amazing chemistry together. Like, we've been working over the summer, like, almost, like, every Saturday, just throwing. Um, I mean, and plus I've known everyone for really all my life. Like, uh, Enzo's a good family friend of mine, mm -hmm. so I, like, go on vacation with him and stuff. And, uh, I don't know, like, just the football team, like, we just, like, hang out with each other and stuff like that. So it builds uh, chemistry. Team locker room, walk me through who is the funniest guy in that locker room. Funniest guy, I would say Sean Bowling, uh, MJ Pompoko, or Michael Toth. Okay. Who is the, the guy that you cannot break? He is an absolute statue of stone. Uh, he's all business all the time. Ezra Stahl. Okay. Yeah. You knew that one right off the jump. I did, I did. Um, who is the motivation guy? Who's the, the motivator? If, if you guys need the raw, raw speech, who's the guy singing it? Um, I don't know. It comes from really everyone. Okay. I think everyone some will have something to say and will step up when they need to say it. Where is your role? Everybody has a role uh, in leadership on this team. What is your role, and, and how did that come to be? Uh, my role, I'd say I probably – I like to lead by example, I'd say, but um, I'll, like, I'll say a few words of encouragement here and there. Um, I, like, got into this role. I think – I don't know. It just, like, happened naturally, you know, like the leaders – on the last year's team graduated, uh, you know, I just got to step in and do what the team needs. Leaders lead, man. Yeah. Leaders lead, and you're a leader. Uh, all right, let's talk about what's the one song that gets you amped up, ready to play? <laughs> Fuel by Metallica. Wow, okay, Metallica. Yeah. You're digging that old school stuff. All right, yes. what is a song that you would play in your car that as soon as you're around the school or somewhere where somebody can hear it, you immediately turn it down? Oh, gosh. Uh... <laughs> Probably, uh, probably like a Rihanna song. There we go. Yeah. See, not too big of a man to, to, <laughs> to say, hey, I can listen to what I want. she got some good jams. Yeah, no, she's pretty good. Um, what is one board game that you actually enjoy? Uh, I'd say like Monopoly or Clue. I like those. Wow. Like Monopoly can go on for days. I know, I know. Are you pretty good? 
I'm all right. What's I, what's the 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 icon? What's the thing that you use the most? I like the hat. The, You're the, the hat the, guy. That's my go-to. Okay, yeah. the hat's your go-to. Um, if you guys are kicking it on a, a Saturday night, let's say you mm-hmm. and your friends, what are you doing? Probably just uh, going to like someone's patio, starting up the fire, and just hanging out with some some music. Music and cutting it up. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, let's talk about role models. Let's talk about the people that have put you in this position, um, where you are right now to be such a good young man. <laughs> Thank you. Who are those people? And, uh, and, and you know, shout them out, and, and why are they so important to you? Uh, it's my mom, my dad, and my grandparents. Um, I mean, my dad has been the best male role model I could ever ask for. He's wise. It feels like he knows everything. So whenever I'm in trouble, I'll just go to him, and he'll say the right thing. And my mom... Uh, my my mom is incredible. I think she's the best ever. I know everyone says that, but my mom is the best. Who uh, in your grandparents? I'm sorry, I didn't yes. want to cut you off. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, my grandparents are just like, they're just the nicest people in the world. Um, and so like, grow, when I was growing up, when I was little, I like I hung around with them a lot, yeah. and uh, I think I caught some of their kindness. I think. Oh, that's good. I learned it from them. You got that old soul. I can appreciate that. Thank you. Um, who is the the cook in your family? The cook. Uh, probably my grandma. Grandma? Yeah, her her birthday cake that she makes is out of this world. I what I mean, what best. kind of birthday cake is it? It's just chocolate with a uh, like vanilla frosting, but it's just like incredible. Because it's made it's with so love. Good. Yeah, of it's course. made yes. with love. Yes. I appreciate it, Nick. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank appreciate you. you. Best you. of luck this season. Thank you.